Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to show you another great hack for your Stanley Two Cup Cook Set. Today, we're going to be talking about how to deal with replacing this plastic tab, which can sometimes melt. So stay tuned. There are a lot of videos on YouTube where people use different items to replace this with. And I'm going to show you a very easy way how to remove this so that it doesn't damage it, so that you can reinstall it later if you wish. The first item that you're going to need is just a small nail. And what we're going to do is we're going to take and push into this little pin area. And see this? It's just a little stainless steel pin. And so if you'll take the nail and push very carefully, you might have to tap it with something, but you can push that pin out just a little ways. See that right there. Next, we're going to take the multi-tool, grab a hold of the pin very carefully, and wiggle it out, just like that. Lay it down. This comes right off the top very easily, and then we're left with just a small green insert, uh, and that's, of course, what it leverages on so that it'll stand up or down. Very easy to pull it out also. Grab it gently with the needle nose pliers and pull that right out. Once you've removed that tab, what a lot of people do is they'll take a split key ring and just simply thread it on here like this. And that works okay, but it's very noisy. And when you put it on here and you fold this over, you've still got this issue here. And uh, it, isn't, it isn't very quiet. Now that does help you suspend the pot over a fire. And if that's all you have, then that's a great, great option. Because again, put a stick through it, hang it over your fire, and uh, with this uh, handle folded over the top, it holds it in place so you can actually boil with it on there. But I have a much better solution, so stay tuned. I like these carabiners from Night Eyes. And this is the number two and it will hold 10 pounds and it's black stainless steel you can get the silver colored stainless steel if you wish but these are only a couple of dollars so this is not a very expensive solution and this because of the thin metal here some of your carabiners are really thick and they're also not equal on the side so they're usually smaller at one end and bigger on the other but this one is uniform and that really is a nice option and because of the way that this is made it slips right inside of this tab so easily. I mean, it's a very, very nice fit. And because it lays flat, we can just put it down like this, take our handle and pinch it and fold it over. And this stainless steel tab here that slides up and down to lock the lid in place holds this. As you can see, it's very quiet. It does the job very well and it holds it in place. And in my opinion, this is a much better option than just the key ring because as you can see, we still have uh, all of our functions. You can fold that shut, run a small stick or something through here, a wire uh, string if you wish, and it will hold it quite sturdily over the fire. And it's always nice to have an extra carabiner with you in your kit. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can be notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.